Hi guys and welcome to another Hearthstone video. Today I'm going to show you the new Face Hunter deck which has become even more popular since the launch of the expansion Skullman's Academy. It already was a very strong deck before this new expansion, but somehow it was under the shadow of two of the other popular Hunter decks, Dragon Hunter and Highlander Hunter. I'm going to show you all differences compared to the old Ashes of Outland version of the deck, all new variations and which cards are best for your starting hand. Let me start with a quick introduction for those of you who haven't played Face Hunter before. Face Hunter is an aggressive deck that aims to quickly defeat the opponent by dealing very fast damage to his face. The primary focus is on the enemy hero and not that much on his minions. It is a good idea to have control of the board, especially if the enemy starts to summon minions that can cause you too much damage or minions that may heal his hero or stack armor. Your goal is to finish the game and win as soon as possible. Face Hunter doesn't have a good chance to win in longer games. During Ashes of Outland, the deck was focused mostly around Toxic Reinforcements, Leopard Gnomes, Cobalt Sand Troopers, Dragon Bane and very often Terran Gorfind. Teron was providing a very fun and strong strategy. With him it was possible to easily eliminate an enemy with half and above health points in one turn. Now many things have changed and in my opinion the deck has become even more aggressive. Leopard Gnomes, Cobalt Sand Troopers and Blazing Battle Mages have been replaced. Now we have Wolper Tinger, which is a nice card for both opening or in combination with Scavenger Ingenuity. Demon Companion, which is very similar to Animal Companion, just cheaper and summoning weaker minions, which are also not beasts, but demons. Voracious Reader, which is an excellent addition to the deck, because Face Hunter has mostly low cost cards and you can easily empty your hand. Voracious Reader provides a good strategy to reload your hand. Tour Guide is also a very interesting addition to the deck. It lets you cast a secret with Face Stalker or triggering Dragon Bane one or even two rounds earlier. It can also help you to gain control of the board early in the game with Dwaron Sharpshooter. There are also some changes in the secrets package. In Ashes of Outland very popular were Explosive Trap and Pack Tactics. Now the core secrets in this deck are Pressure Plate and Freezing Trap. Pressure Plate is very strong against Wyvern Paladin and Big Warrior decks and any other decks that can summon high health minions that would stop you from hitting the enemy face. Adorable Infestation has a good synergy with one cost minions especially with Intrepid Initiate and provides a very strong opening. I usually keep the second cup in my hand just in case if I have to finish the enemy with kill command. Another good combination is with Dwarven Sharpshooter in the first round if you start second. In different variations of the deck some cards are present or missing. Dragon Bane, which is a very strong minion in my opinion and can be a game changer in many situations. Imprison Felmo, very strong minion for the starting hand or against enemy with taunt minions. In ideal situation it will hit the enemy face and 5 damage is not bad at all. Toxic Reinforcements is still used in some decks. One mana is a good price for the damage this side quest can deal. Unfortunately sometimes it comes too late and it takes even more time to do its job. Unleash the Hounds is a good option if you often encounter aggressive enemies that quickly summon many low cost minions. I find it very useful against Warlocks, Rogues and Murloc Paladins. Hyena Alpha has a very good synergy with the Secrets, Scavenger Ingenuity and some of the other cards. It requires some planning in order to be sure that the battle cry will be triggered. I would also propose another card for consideration, Wolf Rider, because it can instantly do face damage unless the enemy has taunt minions. Charge cards fit perfectly in aggressive face strategies. And in some more expensive decks I see Ace Hunter Cream, which is good when you must retake control of the board. Good option for the starting hand is Intrepid Initiate, especially if you start second and can also cast Adorable Infestation. Dwarven Sharpshooter is always a good opener and works very well with Adorable Infestation and Tour Guide. 
Demon Companion, Scavenger Ingenuity and Imprisoned Felmo are also good options for the starting hand. You should avoid any beasts because you want to draw them with Scavenger Ingenuity. Also replay Secrets, Kill Command and Dragon Bane if you play with it. Sometimes I keep Voracious Reader just to be sure that I will not get my hand empty too quickly. Keep those cards for the starting hand that have potential to deal face damage during first two rounds or provide a very strong opener. So that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful to you. If it was, please give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.